Hello all, architect Piyush Pant here. You are watching People's TV English. Subscribe our channel, like and share the videos and help us in spreading the free knowledge. This video is the result of many queries from the students and colleagues about how to get contour lines in SketchUp and export them directly to AutoCAD in 2D and 3D form. So let's start. I have divided the whole process into three simple steps for you. Step 1 will be to import a 3D terrain within the SketchUp. For that, open a new SketchUp file, go to the location plugins in your plugin bars. This plugin already comes with SketchUp as a default. If it is not showing on your plugins bar in your interface, nothing to worry. Just uh, go to the view tab on the top, select toolbar option. A toolbar window will open up. In that window, you will find a list of all tools available in your SketchUp. Remember, this process is for SketchUp 16 and above. You can see in the list of plugins in toolbar window, location plugin box is checked. That's why it was showing on the top. Check the box if it is not checked in the toolbar list to bring the plugin bar in the SketchUp interface. Coming back where we left, click the first icon in the bar, which is add location. An add location window will open up. Here we can select the area for which we want the contour details. You can see this white square on the map. That is the limit of selection. Nothing goes out of it. Now just type the location of any site in the world. For an example, I am taking a hilly site to get a better understanding. Let's type the address on the top. Then click the search button. Remember, you will be needing a good internet connection to do this process fast. Now let's pick a small hill nearby and bring it under the square. After you are done arranging the site under the square, click select region. The selection area will get active and rest all will be faded. Now select any grip from the corner of the square and resize the selection area accordingly. But nothing will be selected out of the box. When your selection is done, click import and depending on your internet speed and computer performance, the image from the map will be imported and the center of the image will be pinned with the origin. We can see the scale of the image when we zoom in, our man looks tiny in comparison of it. The image is imported in locked mode automatically. We can see the red boundary when the image is selected. It is an indication that the image is locked. Therefore, to do any kind of changes, you first have to unlock the image. That's very easy. Just right click when the image is selected, click unlock option from the list and you will see the red boundary is converted into blue boundary. That means image is unlocked and can be edited. However, this is flat image. That is not what we wanted. We need contours. We need the elevation of the site, not the flat image. It is easy. Again, go to the location plugin on the tab. This time, click the second icon, which is toggle terrain. The moment you click that, it automatically converts the flat image into a terrain having actual topographic levels like a magic. The data is already there in the Google Maps, but here in SketchUp we can control it, whether to see the topography or not. Now moving forward to the next step, that is step 2. Here we will work to get the contour lines from the terrain we imported. Go to top view from the views panel above. Then take rectangle command. Now left click at one corner and drag your mouse to cover the whole terrain and click again at the another corner to finish the rectangle. You can see the surface of the rectangle is developed. Now double click over the surface of the rectangle and right click after that keeping the mouse over the surface only and make it a group. Let us rotate the model by using central click of the mouse which automatically brings us the orbit tool in SketchUp. The rectangle is made on the origin plane of the SketchUp. You can see the terrain is coming up and down of the rectangle we made. Let us go to the front view for the same and changing the camera view at parallel projection so that everything comes flat. I have created a keyboard shortcut for that but you can also do it from the camera tab above. Now move the selected surface to the top edge of the hill and make sure some part of the hill should intersect with the surface we made. Let us rotate the model and see, yeah, it is intersecting a bit at the top, that will do. Again, go to the front view, 
copy the surface from the top and paste to the lowest surface of the hill. Now select everything and move it above so that the lowest point is at the same level of the origin in SketchUp. Now go to the perspective view to rotate our model and see the arrangement we made. Yeah, it is coming fine. Move ahead. On the front view and with parallel position, we can measure the height difference between the lowest and highest point of the hill with the help of surfaces we made. It is coming around 200 meters, we can see in the measurement box above. Now right click and divide the line of 200 meters into 20 segments which will give us the contour levels of 10 meters each. Now copy the lowest rectangular surface and move it 10 meters above. And type 19x on the measurement box and press enter. You will see that the rectangular surface will be copied at 10 meter intervals from bottom to top. Now again change the camera view to perspective from parallel projection. Rotate our model. You can see that whole of the terrain is covered on the surface or rectangles we made at an interval of 10 meters. Again go to the front view. Select everything. Right click. And under intersect faces option select intersect with model when we do that the surface will intersect with the terrain and will create the intersecting lines automatically now going back to the front view having parallel projection select all surfaces and delete it going back to the perspective view in camera we can see the intersecting lines are mapped over the terrain we got 20 windows represented on the terrain at 10 meters interval now select the terrain, uh, right click and hide it. You can see how contour lines are separated from the terrain. Take the front view, use the parallel projection as before. I have assigned W key as the shortcut for the same. You can also get that from the camera menu above. Start selecting the contours from the bottom one by one and assign them layer according to their levels. Why it is required, we will get to know later in this video. I have already added the layers in the layer panel in SketchUp according to their levels. On the top also you have a layer panel from where you can select or deselect the layers. I have assigned the lowest contour as 10 meter layer from the layer panel. Similarly select other contours one by one and assign them layer according to their levels. You can see when we select a contour the layer on the layer panel changes as we have assigned each contour a specific layer. By this way we can check that all contours are assigned to correct layers or not. Now we got our contour lines so we move on to next step that is step 3. In this step we will be exporting these lines in AutoCAD. Go to isometric view, select any line to recheck that the contours are assigned to a layers or not. Go to file option on the top left corner, bring your mouse over the export option. Another list will open. Select 3D model from that. In the export model window that will open after that, define the location where you want to save your exported file. Before exporting, few editings you have to do. Click the save as type rollout below in the export model window. Select AutoCAD DWG file format. Further you can go to export option for few more settings like changing the version of the AutoCAD file. Let's keep it the most common 2007 version so that it can be opened anywhere. There are many other options, let's keep them as it is and click OK and press export button. You will see the final dialog that exporting is completed successfully. Now let's open the exported file which is in DWG file type that is an AutoCAD file format from the location we already saved it. Double click the file and continue it opening in the AutoCAD. You can see the contour lines are imported with the layers we assigned them in SketchUp earlier. It saves time for us to again reassign them in AutoCAD and avoid confusion in the contour lines as well. In the layer panel in AutoCAD, we can see all layers are imported with the same name and color which was given them in SketchUp. The lines imported are in the form of 3D in AutoCAD. We can change the view from isometric to the top view from the top right 3D box and can start our work further on that. You can also change the color of the contour lines in AutoCAD as you want from the layer panel. <laughs>